Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys are doing absolutely great today. I'm doing well. I just had a couple of new friends that stopped in over here and they are from the Philippines. What a, what a great surprise that was that somebody would come all this way just to see the stuff that I have going on here. So I just, Carmen, I just want to thank you for bringing your friend over and surprising her. That was totally awesome and it was very, very nice of you. I hope you guys had a great time and I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed what you see here, you know. Um, I explained what I'm doing. Um, as everybody knows, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to reach people and trying to help people. So with that said, let's do something today that if you're a beginner, hopefully it'll inspire you to pick up the brush and get started. It's a super, super simple picture. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the stuff there in the beginning. I tried to put a couple shots of the studio in. I know I haven't done a lot of that lately. Uh, one other thing I wanna say, December, 12th, 13th, and the 14th. I think we're doing a workshop. I'll have all the details coming soon. I'll make a whole separate video about that. Steve Ross, Dana Jester. Yeah, keep your, uh, keep your eyes and ears open for that one because it's gonna fill up quick once I get the uh, days finalized. So, all right, let's get started. Let's get started here. It's, uh, it is a great day. I'm gonna hold the old palette up right there. Hopefully you all can see that. All right, very, very simple stuff. Okay, so I put uh, thin, like a black medium and white medium, thin down, and you see what I did here, just kind of started dark and, and a little white area in the center right there. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do our thing here. So I think, start off with a uh, one inch brush and let's, uh, ta -ta -ta, yellow, little cad yellow. Super simple painting here. Cad yellow, Indian yellow, I'm gonna mix these two. All right, and then right about there. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this color right about there. All right, super simple. Not gonna wash any brushes. Maybe I'll just bring it up this way a little bit. All right, all right, there we go. Now, let's get a little bit of this uh, yellow ochre here. It's a little bit of a darker yellow. And I'm gonna pop that in right like this. Now I'm going to reach over. I have the same colors that I normally use here, so I'm going to, you know, link them below so you guys know what's going on. A little bit of brown here. Brown and some yellow ochre. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, nice and dark. I'm just slowly making it darker as it goes to the edges. And I already got that black up there, so that's going to help. I'm still going to add some, but just kind of helps. Brown, yellow ochre. Yeah, something like that. Super simple stuff here. Okay, so now I'm gonna reach right over. Oh, look at that, got some green running down the palette. <laughs> I'm gonna reach over to some black here. Brown, black, darken this up. Super simple. I hope you guys, you know, give this a try because I'll tell you, I've heard a lot of stories lately about people that are just, you know, deciding to paint. And I must say, I'm very happy with the stories that I've heard. I know what it did for me. So if it did it for me, it can do it for, uh, it can do it for anybody, I believe. All right little bit of dark dark here something like that okay all right I'm gonna set that down and I think I'll just grab another clean brush here and I'm just gonna start right here so I'm gonna start in the center and I'm just gonna kind of bring it together just a little bit but don't go back into the center without you know cleaning your brush or you know, or wiping it off. And I'm just doing these little X thingies here. All right. These are the fun paintings. These are the ones that are just fun to do. So let me set this down real quick. Got a big roll of paper towels right here. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe here. I'm just gonna carefully go like this, back and forth, and I'm 
I'm just going to get a little bit of white on here. And I'm just going to put that right about there, a little bit more. All right. One of these days, I'm going to get used to holding the palette. That'll just brighten it up a little bit. Something like that. Okay, let me set that one down and I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab that dirty brush. See that? I'm just gonna actually just wipe it off. Just gonna wipe it off. We had the brown and the black and all them good things on there. And let's see how this works. So I just wiped it. I didn't add anything to it. going to tap in some uh, something here and if all works out well it's going to look like you know maybe stuff like far out Let's see super simple here I keep saying that because it is all right so that could you know that easy it'll look like something that's really really far away all right so I'm going to take the same brush the uh, set the paper towels down and I'm going to take Let's get some brown and black. All right. I'm just going to tap into some brown and black. And uh, I don't know, right here maybe. I'm just, you know, just tapping in some color. These are darker, so they're going to look a little bit closer. All right. Always step back too. Step back a few feet and see what you have going on. Okay, let me take another clean brush here. And I wasn't thinking about it, but let's just get a little bit of yellows here. And drop some uh, color in down here. I'm just using all the yellows. I just want to get just something here. Have a little bit of water in here, I guess. this. And a little bit of white right there. Okay. Drag some this way. These are the paintings that get me excited right here because they're they're just simple and they're fun and they're just yeah, they're just great to to create. All right, so I'm going to continue on here real quick. I got some brown and some black. Nice dark color here. I'm just using this one inch brush. I got a few of them going here. And let's put in here. What do we got? What do we got? Right here. Just put in a little bit of something here. Constantly step back. Right up to that water there. Maybe we'll pull just a hair of that down and get little reflections and things. And I'm just tapping in dark color. All right. Put some over here. Okay. All right. And then before I go too far, I'll just grab this dirty brush. Just pull a little bit of that dark right down over top of our light. Something like that. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to continue on because I know that I want to have, you know, some land here. Nice little hill right there. Something like this. Maybe it drops right just like this. See that? Just dark color. Tap it in, tap it in. We'll separate it all in a minute. That'll be a reflection there. And all right, let me set this down and pull some of this down here. Okay. So I got three brushes going. Let me grab some browns and some yellows and some whites. 
want to put something in there, like a water line. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so now there's a little bit of a water line there. You can kind of get the idea that something's going on. Okay. All right, all right. I think it'll be a good time for some, let's put some highlights on here. We'll start back here. So I think. I'm going to use some crimson. i got some alizarin crimson here. I, I actually like this color a lot. And some Indian yellow. Crimson and yellow, maybe. See that? Just pulling it right out. And it's like there's different colors in here. There's some definitely some different colors, which is, which is cool. I like that. So let's see. How do we want to do this? I don't want too, too many highlights back there. So I'm just going to tap in a you know, few areas. See that? I just tapped. And I'm going to go back up to the pile. Put some more there. If you tap too many times, the, you know, it'll get real. You're, you're going to, what's the word I'm looking for? If You're just going to dull it out, dull it out. You're going to make it look real flat. So just a few taps, and I'm leaving some of that dark color in there. You can go to some cad yellow too. Put some of that in there, see? It's more of that crimson color. Maybe it's something in there like that. Nice fall colors. All right, not too, uh, not too crazy. Now here's our some of our land. Now watch this. This is important. See this? I got some nice thin medium here, right? It'll thin the paint down. I'm going to tap into all of these here. Look at that. I'm really going to town. So this is where we're going to separate our land. Check this out. Okay, there's our top hill. Right back into this. All right, and I know that I want one here too. Okay. There, and it's going to get softer here because because it's more dark here. Same here. <clears throat> All right, so there's two different little land areas there. Let me scoop some white here, crimson and white. I just want to lighten it up a hair. Put some there. Just to brighten it up a hair. Okay. All right, all right. Boy, I'm making a mess for sure. All right, let me step back and see what do we want to do here. Easy painting, right? I did say it was going to be a nice, easy one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I got this dirty, this dirty one-inch brush right here. Uh-oh, the, the sap green got me. Let me get a paper towel. It's all over me. All over me. It's all right. All right, dirty brush. I'm going to take some black, brown, some green. Okay, see this? A lot, I'm, using, I'm actually using a lot of paint. Get some crimson in there. Brown, green, black. What the heck? Put a little blue in there, I guess, too. That's a pretty color. All right, all right, all right. And I'm going to, I'm going to make me a cool little line. Boom. Just like that. I'm going to go back in, and I'm, I'm reloading. And then let's come up here and touch. Oh, that's pretty. I love this. I love it. And I'm just going to go all the way down like that. Get some more paint up on here. All the colors. Wiggle it through. Nice and dark. Yeah, let's get some blue in here. Hmm. 
real dark. Bring that down to about there like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right, dark color, dark color. I'm just going to come right here like that. Drop some stuff in there. I got some green, some black, some blues. It don't matter. Put some right there too. Get some real dark. Okay. And you know what? You know what we can do? Let's just put a little baby right there next to him, right? There we go. Set that down. Let's get the old knife out. Brown. Some white. And just, just drop a little something in there like this. All right, so I got one going here that's light color. So let's get some of our yellows and green. Let's get some green in there. I think green would be cool, right? Look at that, just all kinds of stuff going on. I'm just gonna tap some color onto the brush. Let's see how this looks. Some more yellow. Let's get some Indian yellow. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> you play with the colors, you know, just, just go back and forth. See? Oh, that hit the painting. I got to get used to this darn uh, palette. Just do little taps, see? Put a little bit over here. darker stuff for the other side, maybe some green and some black. Okay. See how simple that is? I mean, it's real simple. So real real easy stuff. I had to set the palette down here for a minute because I got to got to wipe this brush off here. So I have three 1-inch brushes going. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Just one of them days I got to I gotta do something to get me like, you know, just get me feeling good, which I already feel good, but it makes it even better when, uh, <clears throat> when you do a painting that makes you feel extremely good. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take some crimson, all right? I got some thin stuff here. And I wanna make some, some pretty little things. All right. So uh, start right about there, like that. And I keep going back to, you know, to reload because if not, it'll mix. And you don't, you know, you don't want it to mix. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some Indian yellow with that crimson. That. And then let's continue this guy. Let me get some more paint. There we go. Oh, we got a lot of paint on this one here. Let me dip in. Now I'm slinging it around. I'm slinging the white stuff all over me. All right, make that one nice and beautiful and bright. And you know what? Hey, let's have a green one in here, just because green doesn't really go with what we're doing, but I think that'll look neat. Green, a little bit of yellow. Let's put one right here. A 
Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Just popping a little green here, too. Something like that. step back a few feet. Look at my arm. <laughs> that's, a, that's the bad thing about wearing black shirts when you spray paint all over you. Hmm, all right, all right, all right. Let me see here. I just want to try something. <laughs> something like that and there you have it there you have it you have a quick efficient easy painting hopefully it gets you inspired that's the whole goal of the video that's the whole goal of every video getting people inspired if you're depressed please try this if you are just having a bad time of life please try this or if you're even happy just try it because it'll make you happier I just want to thank everybody because a lot of good things have been happening and I'm just, I don't, I don't really know. I hope I'm showing it good enough because I'm, I'm like blown away at the same time, but I'm more grateful than I can ever explain to all you guys. So thank you. It's motivation for me to keep going. And uh, thank you to my new friends from the Philippines for coming out. What a, what a, just what a great surprise that was. So I'll see you guys soon. I just wanted to do something that was quick, easy, fun. And uh, yeah, now that I'm back from Los Angeles, I will I have a few weeks home. So I'll get into some more detailed stuff. So videos coming here soon. Keep your eyes out and your keep your ears out, ears opened, eyes peeled. I don't know how to say that, but for the uh, workshop in December, Steve Ross, Dana Jester, coming to the East Coast. See you guys soon. Have a great day. Take care.